Hey everyone, Leonard Kinsey here, uh, off on another adventure with my uh, trusty 2000 Toyota Camry. So I've been coming to Baltimore ever since I was a little kid to uh, visit my dad in the summer. And uh, one thing I distinctly remember two summers in a row was going down to the Inner Harbor, which is our main tourist area, and visiting this theme park, this magical theme park, in an old power plant. They had a 4D theater, and they had a thing where you went around all these Pepper's Ghost effects. It was kind of like a, a for real Museum of the Weird. There were no rides, no rides at all. Uh, but it was a Six Flags theme park. Years go by, years and years and years. I, I moved to Baltimore, and I'm going by the power plant. I'm like, there was a theme park in there. And everyone I talked to was like, that, no, there was no theme park in there. You're completely wrong. That never existed. I'd be like, I swear to God, once upon a time, there was a Six Flags theme park in there, and no one knew what the hell I was talking about. Everyone thought I was delusional, until one day, I bring it up to Josh, who runs ThemeParkUniversity.com, and he's like, let me look into it. And sure enough, he finds this treasure trove worth of stuff on Six Flags Power Plant. And he did a four-part series on this park, and I've gone and taken as many pictures as I could from his article, and now we're gonna go to the power plant and we're gonna go into it and we're gonna see what we can find that matches up with the pictures that Josh put in his article. So let's go. Okay, so first up is the Hard Rock. Now that's where the entrance to the park was. You can see this uh, red roof structure here. Uh, that's where you got your tickets. That's where you stood in line to get in. That really has not changed at all. That structure is pretty much exactly the same. And that's also what we're gonna use to orient ourselves as to what's north, south, east, and west when we're looking at the map of the park that we have. So we know, because that structure is there, that's where the entrance was. Grand staircase was directly in front of that. All right, let's go in. So this is where the grand staircase would have been, right where that wall starts. The way we can tell is by looking at the pictures that we have. Right here, this balcony. This was one of the balconies, and um, where the curve of the balcony stops. You walk a few more paces, that's where the grand staircase started. So it would have been right where this wall is. And I talked to the manager and he said, there is no staircase in the kitchen, which is what's behind here. It's just a kitchen. So it's all been torn down. We now have ceilings here. It was a wide open atrium and you can see this went up like three stories and behind the staircase were a bunch of windows. But I, again, I asked the manager what's in the second floor and said it's just storage. So they basically added a ceiling and then locked off the second floor, which is disappointing that there's really nothing left in here in the Hard Rock that uh, was there in the Six Flags theme park. You, you just will never know. They completely destroyed everything. So, it's a bit of a bummer, but... Now we have Barnes & Noble, and this is where kind of the, uh, the main uh, meat of the park was, where all the walkthrough attractions were, and so we're going to go in there and we can orient ourselves in there because the smokestacks actually went straight through the middle of the building, and again, those are on the map so we can see what was where, and see if we can get some good footage of anything that's left. That's 
find a guy that you Exterminate. <laughs> this is the only thing here that we can match up in the pictures. This smokestack, this smoke, well there's four of them. And then right there would be where the balcony is. Here, you can kind of get a sense of the scope of this place. It was, it was huge, just a massive space. I mean, it was a big park. You got to remember, there's three buildings and two levels in each building of this, so it was big. It wasn't like some little rinky dink operation. Alright, so this is the last stop. It's now Phillips Seafood Restaurant. This is where the Gordy Theater used to be. This is where the uh, big other theater with the animatronics used to be. So you would get in there from the Barnes Noble and you would queue up there and then you would go into this building. So I don't know what's going to be left in there. We'll see. Okay, so where we are now, kind of in the bar area of Phillips, I think it was the Circus of the Mysterious that before above us was just closed off. Was the, the 40 meter sensorium. After creepily walking around this crowded, amazing, pretty bar, I just got the nerve to ask a server, and she said that upstairs is more storage. What are they storing? Why do they need so much storage? stage would have been there, and animatronics and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, people still see it here, but yeah, it's uh, nothing left. Nothing left of it. Okay, so we are on the back side of Hard Rock now, uh, the back side of the power plant, and now you can see the windows here that were in back of the grand staircase. Uh, they match up exactly. It's a square, a rectangle, and a big curvy part can't see them from inside the hard rock anymore. I don't know what's there now. It looks like empty. Let's fly the drone up this way. 